Welcome, welcome back to my channel, Home Cooking with D South Gal. Um, did you guys miss me? I hadn't been really recording because after Mardi Gras, I did get sick again, and I had like a upper respiratory infection, sinus infection, and it was just bad. So, and now I'm dealing with seasonal allergies, so I just kind of had to put it off for a little bit. But I'm back. As y'all know, it is Lent season. During Lent, um, Catholics we don't eat meat on Fridays. Um, it's just a sac sacrifice that um, we make. Um, and yeah, so today I am going to be making homemade crawfish fettuccine. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get into this video, guys, because I have, um, you know, I'll be cooking for my family and stuff. And we're trying to go to Way of the Cross this evening, which is um, a ceremony that they do at the Catholic Church. And it's just remembering Jesus Christ. And it takes us through the different mysteries um, and showing us what he went through, us remembering what he went through um, before he was um, put on the cross and everything and before he died for our sins. So it's just, um, and I'm, we're trying to go to that this evening, but I don't know with this coronavirus going around. I don't need to get sick again. Definitely don't want to catch no damn coronavirus, but... I don't know. It's up in the air. If I'm if I'm gonna go, I might just tell my mom and I'm just come here. Well, we done disinfected my son just vacuumed. I'm disinfecting my house and stuff, and I would rather just stay and watch movies and play Uno. That's that's gonna be my good time. So, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video, and I'm gonna show you how to make homemade crawfish fettuccine. All right, guys, I have all of my ingredients um laid out for you. So we have about three pounds of crawfish tails. Um, and y'all know I like the Louisiana brand. Um, so three pounds of that. We got two boxes of um, the fettuccine noodles. You can use any brand you want. Um, we have the Trinity here. Um, this is two, three medium onions, two bell peppers. I did put some green onions in with it. You can see at the bottom. Um, I had to use, you normally would use two ribs of celery, but the ribs of celery that I bought, they were kind of small, so I did four. We're gonna use half and half to make the sauce, along with some Velveeta. This is a pound of Velveeta original. Um, I've got two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of jalapenos, um, a fourth of a cup of flour, and then I got about two cups here of freshly grated Parmesan. And that's optional. This is just to put on the top once you're done. And then, of course, um, we're going to add parsley flakes. I got some Tony's here, garlic powder, onion powder, and some black pepper. Um, now, right here, I already went ahead and started to... Um, this is three, take three sticks of butter. That's what we're going to cook our seasoning in. And so we're going to go ahead and dump that in. I went already went ahead and see if you can see that that melted. And so... We're gonna go ahead and let that cook down until all of the, you know, your onions are clear till it's translucent. And then I'll be back to show you what you would do next. In the meantime, in between time, I am gonna put some water on and start boiling my uh, noodles. Okay guys, so I'm back. So we have the, um, our onions and stuff, they pretty much clear. So that's what you want. So I'm gonna take and add fourth of a cup of flour once you add this you want to make sure you incorporate it very well so mix it up really really well it's gonna help to thicken that up basically and then we're gonna put this on I had it on a kind of medium high heat so I'm gonna put this down to like a three and you're gonna let this just cook we're gonna cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes and then when we come back, we'll be able to add our crawfish tails and our parsley. All right, so I'll be back in, a, in about 15 minutes. All right, guys, so I'm back. <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead. It's been um, 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and add our crawfish. Rinse this off and put it in the dishwasher for me. 
and we're going to add some parsley flakes. Now, I like a lot of parsley flakes, so. I'm going to go ahead and lump our fire up. I'm going to turn it on about a seven. I'm going to mix this really well. And basically, you just, you're just going to let it cook for 20 minutes. And basically, it's going to heat the crawfish all the way through. And get those flavors from the season that the crawfish was prepared in to come through. And um, during, during the 20 minutes, and I forgot to tell y'all, during the 15 minutes, you want it to stir it occasionally. So, but it's 20 minutes. You can put the lid on after you got all this stirred up together really well you put the lid on it and then check on it probably like every I'll say about 10 minutes to check on it stir it a little bit and then cook it for the another 10 minutes but all right I will be back Okay, guys, so it's been about 20 minutes. This is what it looks like. I did have to turn the fire down a little bit because it did start to stick, so I have it at about a five. So, yeah, so this is after it's heated up and it started getting to a boil. So now what we're going to do is add the remaining ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and I, I took that pound of Velveeta and I just kind of cut it in cubes. And oh, remaining ingredients, but, but not the parmesan. Let me state that. So you're not gonna add the um the parmesan uh cheese. That's gonna be you're gonna put that on top of the pasta once we get it in the pan. And um, you know, bake it in the oven. Alright, so we put in our cheese we did our garlic and we put in our jalapenos and then we're gonna add i think i might have said heavy whipping cream earlier but it's half and half it's one quart of half and half all right so i'm gonna mix this together All right, so we're gonna also start with our seasoning. So I'm gonna do my Tony's first. Now this actually makes like, you know those big um, aluminum roasted pans? This makes a lot. So I'm actually doing, I'm trying to do it in two pans cause I could freeze one of them. Like not cook it yet in the oven and just freeze it. And then whenever I'm ready to eat it, take it out and voila. I have a cooked meal already. So that was Tony's onion powder, garlic powder. And you can season it however you like, you know, do it to your taste buds. <coughs> and then we're gonna do some black pepper. <coughs> Woo, that's seasoning. It's like it got in my throat. All right. So mix this up really well. And I'ma just I'm gonna add a little more Tony's. powder and we like a lot of black pepper so I'm gonna do some more black, a little bit more black pepper that's my mama got me like that heavy-handed on the black pepper but there we go all right so now 
I think I'm gonna leave it on five because like I said, it had stuck a little bit. And so it started to stick when I had it on seven. And so I'm gonna cover this up. We're gonna let this cook for another 20 minutes. Stirring it occasionally. Um, you can do your noodles now if you want. As you can see, I've already done mine. I cooked my pasta noodles. I didn't cook them all the way though. I think the box called for like 11, 13 minutes and I think I did for like nine minutes. Cause I don't like them. I don't want them too mushy and too soft. When we, you know, when you bake them, it's gonna cook a little more. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, let this cook. And then I'll be back to show you what we're gonna do next. And well, uh, basically, once it's done cooking, I can tell you, you're gonna add the noodles to the pot. You're gonna stir it really, really well. And then you're gonna add your noodles to a buttered dish. I have aluminum pans, and honestly, you don't have to use a buttered dish if you don't want to. Um, I, I use the nine cooking spray because we have three sticks of butter already in the pot, so. You can butter the dish if you want. I just have cooking spray, so it's just easier for me. And I use the um, the extra virgin olive oil non-stick cooking spray. So anyways, I'll be back, guys. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. So this is what we have. And we're going to... Add our fettuccine noodles. And they're kind of sticking together, so that's why if you wonder why I'm adding them separately in handfuls. I, ch I ran cold water on them, but it probably wasn't enough, you know, to stop the process of it cooking. Because as long as they hot, they continue to cook. But I want to make sure I have sauce in every noodle. I don't want to just have somebody get a clump of noodles with no sauce and no crawfish. So that's why I'm kind of adding it like this. And of course... As always, making a mess in the process. All right, that's the last bit of the noodles. Yeah, bro. All right, my, my noodle fell on the ground, so I'm just like, call my dog to get it. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in our pans and then I'll be I'll be right back with you all right guys so this is what my pans look like it's two pans I'm gonna show you how deep they are and how wide they are so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is Remember that fresh Parmesan cheese that I grated? <coughs> and again, y'all, this is optional. I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top. And oh, um, I have the oven on 350. So we're gonna bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes to get a nice golden color on top make sure the cheese melt and it'll finish cooking the noodles And then I'll be back with the finished product. All right, guys, this is what it looks like. 
And I just want to dig in and let you guys see how creamy that is. And you can serve this. We normally eat it with the side salad and some garlic breadsticks. And once you take it out the oven, I norm you can let it sit and your sauce will thicken up a little more. It coats the noodles very, very well. But this is your crawfish fettuccine. Hope you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and make this recipe. Comment down below. Let me know how yours turned out. Till next time.